to take the molten gold and I'll move it over the shotting pot. I'm going to heat the shotting pot and the gold at the same time so that everything's really molten. And now I'm going to pour it directly into the shotting hole. Working any gold that didn't shut me down. I'm going to demonstrate how I filtered it out. After pouring most of the water off, then I pour through a filter and catch the gold in the filter. So, you got to be careful when you do this because you can lose these little tiny BBs at the very bottom. You can see here that the shot is a pretty consistent shape and color. You also may notice that the color of this is a slightly orange color. That's because this gold was not 24 karat, probably 98% pure. The reason I've shot at it is because I'm going to digest this gold in AR and I needed it in a form that would digest quickly, so I shot at it. You can use this shotting process for silver if you want to re-dissolve silver or you can use it to make casting grains if you want to weigh up discrete amounts of gold for making jewelry or what have you or making your own carat alloys. This is a good method. If you find some pieces that are slightly irregular that you don't want in the mix with the shot, you could screen the shot to a certain size and then reprocess the other sizes that are too large. You notice down here in the bottom you will have a lot of small BBs. You need to be careful that you don't lose these when you're collecting them out of the water. So there you have it. That's how you make shots.